Hey guys, Shane Sorens with DroidMotorX.com and Saturday I announced to you guys that Verizon was releasing an over-the-air update that blocked the current unlocked bootloader method for the Galaxy Note 2 uh, and I said that if a method became available to update to the latest over-the-air update I believe it's VRALL4 uh, that was safe that you could keep your unlocked bootloader that I would be sure to let you guys know about that uh, so there's a couple of methods right now thanks to developer Scrossler of Scott's ROMs he's the developer of Clean ROM so most of you guys know who that is uh, he has developed an updated version of Clean ROM that includes uh, the new modem well it doesn't include the modem but he has a download link where you can flash the modem uh, but it's based on the latest over the air update and if you flash that you will keep your unlocked bootloader uh, so i just want to show you guys that's what i'm running right now but he's also a, he has also developed a stock rooted rom so you see we're on android 4.1.1 and we are on uh clean build number is clean rom light 1.0 and the baseband is 1605 vraall4 uh, so right now I'm in the process of downloading the stock rooted Diodex ROM that's based on VRALL4. I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install that. Of course you'll need to have an unlocked bootloader, you'll need to have recovery installed, and uh, then we will install that ROM. Okay, so you want to download the stock rooted Diodex ROM plus the new modem. Uh, he'll have a download link in the same thread, so you'll head to the link in the description, download those two files, and then you'll want to reboot into recovery, so we'll just power down the device. Okay, as soon as it's powered down, we'll hold volume up, home, and power until we boot into recovery. Okay, so from here, we're going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe. If you guys are familiar with installing a ROM, then you'll know how to install this. Uh, the premise is uh, you're just going to wipe data and then install the ROM. Uh, but mainly, I just want you to know that there's still no uh, method for unlocking the bootloader. If you accept the over-the-air update from Verizon, the safest way or the only safe way to do this is by installing a pre-made ROM by, you know, like, scroller of Scott's ROMs. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. We'll go ahead and wipe cache. Go back, wipe down it, cache, go back. We will install the ROM. So we're looking for stock root diodex uh, i605 VRALL4. So we'll go ahead and flash that. Okay, so the file is pretty big and it did take a little while to install. But once it's installed, we're going to go back. And now we're going to install the modem. So the i605 VRALL4 modem, this shouldn't take as long. Flash that. Okay, as soon as that's done, we're just going to reboot the system. And so far, this is the only way to update to the latest over the air without losing your unlocked bootloader. Uh, absolutely do not accept the over the air update from Verizon. As soon as Adam Outler comes up with a new unlocked bootloader method uh, for the Galaxy Note 2, I will update you guys on that. He is currently working on that, so that is coming. Uh, so just stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos on the Galaxy Note 2 and other devices. Be sure to check me out at DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Also, follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'll show you guys the ROM that have been running on my Galaxy Note 2. This is AOKP MR1 Alpha 3.